is obviously the same yeah. cost as That's that $95,000. Yeah, that, car that covers uh, the transportation operator um, to manage yeah. the operation. And, oh, uh, the, <laughs> and the hauling costs by Allied Waste to take okay. the roll off. So it's not tip cost. Yeah. You pay for the, the cost of tipping. Taxes pay for everybody's town hall or trash disposal. Yeah. Um, the what tipping. Part, what right. the tipping? Do you have any idea what the tipping would be for that? For just for the transportation? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was $15,000 $15, a year. Oh, you mean That's dollars. the total. Mm -hmm. And uh, approximately 35% of that total. Um, Seventy-five thousand is uh, transfer station. Okay. Um, transfer station. Is I'm sorry. Say that again. Thirty-five percent of the seventy-five thousand dollar annual tipping fee is attributable to the transfer oh, station. Oh, okay. Economy. So that so that actually the transfer station, um, the figures here are ninety-five thousand, and to haul the trail is fifteen thousand, not the thirty-five thousand on it. Right. Okay. Okay. So that makes it different. The other suggestion we have, which we bang, we bang around every now and then, is have Island Rubbish pick up 100% of the town. But then we get into the issue of you have to put it up for bids, and if you had Island Rubbish pick up 100%, the bag program could work mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. But how, how, how could Island Rubbish pick up 100% with the town without going out for bids, because we all agree yeah. Is part of our community. I, right. I, I read something, I'll have to go back and look at it, but the state just passed, I think they just passed a law that they could, something about the bidding, um, where they could. Well, they could give a, yeah, I know what you're talking about. You can give a uh, weighted uh, bonus um, to a local uh, vendor for the state, I guess say, for the state vendors. Uh, versus outside uh, competition on state bid contracts. You could do the same thing locally, I believe. Say, well, if uh, uh, Island Rubbish bids as well as uh, other outside uh, contractors for a, a trash uh, collection and disposal contract, uh, we will weight um, Island Rubbish's by 10% so that they get a discount on their bid by 10%. And uh, so as long as they're 10% less than somebody else, they can still get the bid. Actually, as long as they're not more than 10% greater, right. they can still get the bid. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that, I believe, we can do at the local level. State's doing it at the state level. Yeah, I just, I just read the paper. Mm -hmm. so. okay, the risks of that is that some outside vendor would come in and be much more. 50% cheaper. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. For the first year. Right, it's the, it's the loss later. Right. Right, out of, right, the little guy out of business, sure. and then uh, obviously he's gone. Now the competition uh, no longer exists, and now I've got a uh, freer reign. But you deal with all the complaints when they start coming in because they underbid the contract and can't get the trash picked up every day, and that's happened continuously throughout the state. Yeah. And does it have to yeah. be a yearly bid? I mean, does it have to be yearly, a yearly contract? Oh no, in fact, it probably wouldn't be. It'd probably be a three or five year contract. Well, then they definitely not be annual. Well, they probably wouldn't want to get in the last year. Right. What was that? We couldn't make it annual the first year. Um, that, was, that was a lot of issues. Could difficulty, I mean, you, you probably could, uh, Teresa, but. Um, you could put a performance clause in the number of. Uh, actually, yeah. just sort of thinking out loud, um, that you're going to hold down the number of bidders uh, because bigger companies are going to say, well, Obviously, I'm not going to throw, show my numbers just for one year. It's not worth it for me to even engage the resources when I don't know I'm going to get it for a second year. Mm -hmm. uh, so it discouraged a you know, lot of competition. It wouldn't, I, and, and you said, well, you know, they come in and bid it really low. But they're not going to want to bid it low for three or five years if they're you know, not making any money. I mean, the major corporations can go three years, probably. Uh, knowing that uh, I'm saying make investments over a longer period of time. Ten years. A day is right. But yeah, say five years, for example, they'd, uh, they certainly don't want to lose money for five years. But it is, it's a, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's a slippery slope. Yep. Because we don't know what the outcome would be. And I think everybody is pleased that you have a local contractor that uh, is responsive uh, to the community. Uh, but 
same time, you want to we want to create some economies. Uh, you know, the way these that might be available to us by having a more centralized system. And from time to time, um, council and I have discussed uh, the question of whether or not the transfer station should remain open, uh, whether that represents the best and most viable option for the town in terms of total cost of collection, falling and disposal. And part of the, you know, we had um, uh, Don Richardson express the social <laughs> element to that. And that's that's very real. Uh, people like to go to transfer stations. Yeah, we're, we're talking about how to how to you know increase the efficiency over there and even just having signs or making more options available to people to reduce trash and mm -hmm. you know I I don't think we've seen that signs come up or yeah, so they, right. And we we need to move unfortunately the DPW I mean, our priorities in the town have been uh, directed in other areas uh, over the last several months. Um, the flooding you know, caused a lot of stuff. I think really big, so. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, do we have timelines for that, or we can get that going? Especially Actually, for the summer I think there's some signs there. right now because the Wayward Pile Pier signage is just something I <laughs> take care of finally. No casting! No, no, these people have the singers. <laughs> this one, I will, I will get moving on. Only because there's a lot of out of towners, right? Yeah. So, and and that's that, there's a lot of people that live here all the time that don't realize you can go mm -hmm. there without a sticker to, to bring all these kind, of, you know, all these kind of recyclable materials up there. They don't right. realize that. Mm -hmm. they don't yeah. Have a so can, go. can you know we put some of the responsibility on the people that work up there to get things going? And I know that. Box stops here. No, no, I'm Chris, can you get some I will, yeah, they, that tell me to do this. Tell me to do this. The um, minute that I do this. No, that... I'm serious. I, I will take care of that. that yeah, they follow up. The language that you would work up before, I think you would put together some... Uh, What's the next meeting? Um, let's commit. Yeah, if you don't have to have a copy, I don't have to have my work. I'm trying to copy everything I'm right here. Yeah. But, um, but not just that, but I know that... Um, I'm sorry, the director... Steve said to me that they were they could start recycling batteries up there when I met with him a million years ago. And July 14th. That's you know, if that's the case, can he be responsible for having the bins available and placing them somewhere and letting you know signage again available so that people know that? Mm -hmm. And if he could tell us, we could write an article about it. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Now we can go on the bag program. Yeah. <laughs> okay, All right. All right. Bye. See you, Howie. Bye. We better check the uh, Jamestown record because there's going to be some big news in the future. <laughs> but the bag program is going to get adopted as soon as I leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other things. Oh, 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 yeah, I know about that. Yeah, what did you get? Is that it? What happened? Gotta go to the record. I don't want to forget the record. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the new guy, Bruce? You're the reporter. You can say it. I can say it. Yeah. But he's submitted his retirement. She Ty is retired. Oh. Uh, as of uh, today, but we're hiring him back for entire next year as a uh, third of his salary. Uh, and we're going to do some studies of uh, his staffing levels. Administrative efficiency for the department. Say that again. We have a backup. You're going to reduce staffing at the police. No. Oh, we're going to, we're going to hire a consultant to come in and look at what staffing levels need to be within the police department. Excellent. Obviously, we've heard a whole lot Excellent. about that. Um, Goodness. And look at uh, what, because some people, and even I have said, you know, gee, are we a little top heavy in administration? Um, and so we're going to bring a consultant to take a pulse in that regard. Uh, and the chief's going to be able to transition um, to that, um, to possible restructuring of the department. This is on choice, so. it's on choice to do this? Yeah, actually, the, 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 well, the, with the chief's now retirement, uh, the three senior, the only uh, uh, police officers who were hired in the 70s have now all retired as of uh, now, effective July, June 30th. Lieutenant left, the detective sergeant left, now the chief's the last 